Today we're going to talk about stair physics, but before we start on that project, I wanted to show you how my little food cart turned out from the other day. I was very, very happy with the textures. I even impressed myself. I also wanted to let you know that textures like this didn't happen overnight and I was very frustrated at the beginning and things looked one way in the render window and they did not look that way when they got in world. It's a mixture of knowing how the nodes work and setting up your light source and it takes a little time and it takes a little practice so don't get too frustrated with that just keep on working and hopefully you will get to make just the kind of textures that you want in the future. Our project today is coming to you from the soon-to-be winery warehouse over at LEA 12, where I have set up a look that I'm going for. One of the great things that you can do in Whirl that helps with your blender bills is to make a mock-up out of Prims and then export that using a viewer. Most third-party viewers have this functionality and I believe that the linen viewer might. I don't know, you can check that and see. I've used one prim to represent the floor and another prim to represent the angle of the stairs. They are steep stairs. Luckily, we're very um, energetic in our second lives. So in order to save that so that we can use it inside a blender, I have linked it together and right clicked, gone to Save As Collada, and given it a file name. A simple file name is best. If you get too complex with your file name, sometimes it says that it saves it for you and it doesn't save it. So I suggest simple. To import the DAE file that you saved, you need to be in object mode and then go to File, Import, Collada, DAE, find the file in your list, mine is called Stair Sizing, and there are our prims. If we look at the prims, you can see that they're not exactly optimal mesh. There are many, many more vertices than there would be in a regular cube in Blender. So we don't want to use those. We want to make our own. But this is a very handy way of getting the size and the angle of what you need. I used my in-world mockup to make a cube that's exactly the same size as the floor in my in-world mockup. And from there I went on and made my stairs. Now, for those of you that are actual builders, I do realize this is a pretty steep angle, but it's a visual thing inside my winery. The stairs do work very well. I will prove that to you down the line. They are textured and they are mapped and this is where I am at the moment. And from here I'm going to test my physics. Now let's look at how the physics is and what I did for that. Let's look at the physics model that I made. Over here we have stair physics. I'm going to turn that on. You can see that it's exactly on top of my stairs here. Let's make these windows a little bit smaller so we have room for you to see what's going on. Okay, these are, they aren't really cubes. They started out as cubes. They're actually parallelograms. No, well, they're not even that. They're, they're quadrilaterals. I remember that from math class. I have three here on each side. Here's one here, this big one here, and one here. This is cube physics because A, I'm most comfortable with cube physics, although I am learning planes pretty well, and B, the people in OpenSim really need to use cube physics in order for UBODE to work for them. So that's what I have here is cube physics. There's also one big quadrilateral that takes the place of where the stairs is going to go. So that's what the physics model looks like. This is separate. Let's turn that off. 
Okay, this is our physics model for the stairs. Now I'm going to test that on the beta grid. Before I exported this, I did my origin to geometry and all that stuff. Object, apply, location, object, apply, rotation and scale, object, transform, origin to geometry. Do that on both pieces before you upload your stairs. Over on the beta grid, I uploaded the model. I analyzed it because it was cube physics, so we need to analyze. And I uploaded with the highest levels of LOD in the first two slots and the defaults in the second two slots. Remember, you can always make your own LOD models. I am just a bad girl and it is not my skill. And so I rarely do. Now and then, if I really have to. Once you get your model uploaded on the beta grid or in world, you can test how the physics look by going to the develop menu, render metadata, and physics shapes. And that will give you a very interesting view of the world. You can see if things are working as they should be, and it's also pretty blue and green. Also, of course, you want to walk up the stairs and see if they work well too. My one prim floor got a little fancier along the way with beams and railings and things. Since I'm uploading it all as one object, it's going to need a physics model too because there is in fact something very close to a doorway that we have to worry about. So I went ahead and did that and uploaded it the same as we've done before with our house model and with our stairs, changing it to prim and analyzing, et cetera, et cetera. Everything was going swimmingly over on the beta grid and then I uploaded on the main grid. Things that were a very small impact on the beta grid became 11 on the main grid. This was not good. As it turns out, this is an ongoing problem if you happen to use a third party viewer that doesn't have the Havoc engine in it that the Linden viewer does. And so in the end, I went back and redid my physics as planes physics. I also tested using the Linden viewer and my stairs and platform were just fine. The land impact was less using planes though. So score one for Aquila. <laughs>